matter. Since early times, human beings have been trying to understand their surroundings. As we look at our surroundings, we see a large variety of things with different shapes, sizes and textures. Everything in this universe that we see is made up of material which is called matter. Matter occupies space and has mass. All matter is made up of tiny particles. If we were to observe sunlight falling through a window, we would be able to see tiny particles floating in the air. These particles have spaces between them. Let's demonstrate that using the example of salt dissolved in water. When we dissolve salt in water, the particles of salt get into the space between the particles of water. Also, you will observe that there is no change in the water level. Thus, we have found that particles have space between them. You will also see that the particles continuously move. A drop of ink slowly spreads in water. Matter around us exists in three states, solid, liquid and gaseous. Matter in the solid state has definite shape and volume. This is because the particles in solid are tightly packed, fit together in a regular way and there is no big space between the particles. Therefore, the force of attraction between the particles is very strong and the only movement they make are tiny vibrations to and fro. That is why solids are rigid and retain their shape. If we take a stone and put it in a box, the pebble retains its shape. Matter in liquid state has no fixed shape but has a fixed volume. In liquids, the particles are most closely held together but are not in a fixed pattern. Particles move freely and have greater space between each other. Because of the greater space between the particles, the force of attraction between the particles is weaker than in the solid. Matter in gaseous state has no definite shape and no definite volume. In the gaseous state, the particles are far apart. There is a lot of space between the particles and they move about randomly at high speeds. Due to the huge space between the particles, there is no force of attraction. When a stone is dropped into a beaker with water, why does the stone sink into the water? Let us explore. Generally, the density of solid is high compared to liquid and gas because there are not big spaces between the particles. Gases have much lower densities than either liquids or solids. Let us examine compressibility, another attribute of matter. These are empty syringes. Close the nozzles of the syringes with rubber corks. Fill one syringe with chalk pieces, fill another with water and leave one syringe empty. Insert the piston and try to compress the material in the syringe. You will see that the syringe with the solids is not compressible because the solids are rigid. The syringe with water is compressible because there is greater space between particles compared to solids. The syringe which is empty is easily compressible because the particles in a gas, in this case the air in the syringe, have more space than solids and liquids. This experiment shows that gas is highly compressible compared to solids and liquids. Yet another attribute which differentiates solids, liquids and gases is diffusion. When perfume is released into the air, the fragrance spreads very fast. This is due to the movement at high speed of particles and the large space between them, thereby gases show the property of very fast diffusion. Liquids have less diffusion when compared to gas. In solids, diffusion is negligible. Things to remember Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid and gaseous. Solids have definite shape and volume. Liquids have no fixed shape but have a fixed volume. Gases have no definite shape and volume. The spaces in between the constituent particles are minimum in the case of solids, intermediate in liquids and maximum in gases. The forces of attraction between the particles are maximum in solids, intermediate in liquids and minimum in gases. Generally, density is very high for solids, moderate for liquids and much lower for gases. Generally, compressibility and diffusion are negligible in solids, moderate in liquids and very high in gases.